okay good morning students uh, so today we will be uh, covering our second experiment and that is all about emasculation techniques right uh, so today's objective is very clear that is we are to study the emasculation techniques but before i actually go in detail for the emasculation technique uh, i would like to introduce you all with the uh, uh, with the term that is what is meant by the emasculation so emasculation is what emasculation is actually we have a flower last time we discussed floral biology we used to have a flower and within the flower we used to have two reproductive parts one is male and another reproductive part we have female when we say when we talk about uh, male reproductive part we are basically talking about stamens or say we are talking about anthers right now emasculation we are looking to do with female reproductive part when we are describing the term emasculation emasculation is actually what within the flower if there is the presence of stamens or anthers we are to go for its removal that means out of the two reproductive part we are to allow the presence of only one reproductive part that is female itself and this male part is to be removed the removal of uh, stamens or anthers uh, this is what is known as emasculation either removal either we can call emasculation as the removal of male reproductive part or it can also be called as killing of killing of male reproductive part either removal or either killing now you all must be thinking like why we need to remove this uh, male reproductive part from the flower before i actually tell you the reason you all must be familiar with the term that is uh, said to be self fertilization and you all know that in the self fertilization within the flower male part it fertilizes with the female and it give result uh, to the zygote which later on develops into a seed emasculation uh, in certain crops uh, we don't require emasculation because that will maintain the homozygosity and we are do we do not require the homozygosity there we basically uh, homozygosity there we basically go for the uh, removal of the process that is self fertilization but what it is the process process cannot be removed for removing the process we actually need to remove the part that is actually responsible but here the part that is removed is said to be male reproductive part but the care should be taken like while one is going for the removal of this male reproductive part there should not be caused any damage to the female reproductive part that means killing of pollen grains of a flower but without affecting in any way the female reproductive organ this is what is known as emasculation and purpose is very clear purpose is like purpose is very clear like uh, we don't want within the flower or we don't want within the crop uh, to uh, we don't want self fertilization to take place within the crop right and this is uh, emasculation now there are because crops are basically of two types so when we talk for the dioecious plants in that particular category male plants are removed and uh, even in the monoecious also male flowers are only to be removed so uh, i forgot so see this is the diagram see this is the flower right within the flower there is a presence of this this is the female reproductive part and this is the male so we are removing with the help of scissor we are cutting the uh, male a reproductive part part but it is to be removed or killed in the way that it does not cause any harm or damage to the uh, female reproductive part right so this is what 
this is what uh, a parent where there is the uh, this is the female parent this is the male parent so uh, what we have done here what is done this matlab uh, 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 here what is done here one part is removed and uh, this process is only said to be emasculation right so here also uh, what what is being shown like uh, the male part is being removed and it is very it is uh, uh, when we say like uh, we we basically have two kinds of flower one you should be monosexual in that case we need not to go for the performing this uh, emasculation because already there is a presence of either male or either female flowers right female reproductive organs but uh, the case where there is a presence of uh, but the case where there is a presence of uh, two reproductive organs there we need to go for the removal of uh, say male now there are various methods uh, by which we could go for the emasculation very first is we could perform it for, uh, by the hand uh, on the, um, but, but many parameters are there which will uh, uh, which will uh, uh, which will let you decide which method is to be followed out like uh, we have various methods like see there is a hand emasculation suction method cold water emasculation alcohol treatment then cold treatment and even genetic emasculation is also there so we will go into detail one by one uh, for all these methods now you must be thinking ma'am which method is to be adopted so which method is to be which method is suitable uh, that in terms depends upon various factors very first factor is the size of the flower Say if the size of the flower is very large, then why you need to have a spatula in your hand, or why you need to have scissor in your hands? You can simply uh, use your hand, and with the help of the fingers, you can go for the opening of the flower, and very easily male reproductive organ can be removed, right? But in the cases where, uh, uh, but in the cases where it is very uh, small flower. there going for the hand emasculation is not an easy task there we need to uh, use certain instruments for opening of the flower and later on uh, later on for removing the male reproductive organ so the very first factor that uh, uh, that controls like which emasculation methodology is to be followed it in turns depends upon the size of the flower second is amount of seed needed <coughs> like see when uh, large quantity of the hybrid seeds are needed uh, in that case hand emasculation is impractical right it is impractical so uh, like in the tobacco 200 seeds are needed so if you go for the emasculation then it is going uh, hand emasculation then again it is going to be very tiring so in that particular case uh, we we can go for using the instrument so that it is easy to collect the number of seeds which are required then number of the seeds per per fruit then the purpose why you require the hybrid seeds so all these uh, all these methodologies or all these are the factors which actually uh, actually will help you to decide which emasculation method is to be followed for removing of male reproductive organs but the efficient uh, efficient uh, but if you say okay you need to decide of course you need to decide which method is to be followed out but which method will be called as an effic efficient emasculation method the one that prevents the self pollination and uh, uh, the one that prevent the self pollination will only be the one that is actually that will be actually uh, said to be the efficient emasculation method because overall motive overall motive or overall objective of emasculation is only to go for the removal of male reproductive organs and the method that is easily letting you uh, to remove the male reproductive organ without affecting any female reproductive organ that is what is said to be an efficient emasculation technique and uh, once uh, uh, once like it is removed it should often allow in high uh, seed set on pollination with emasculated flowers this i let you know later on further efficiency can be done see now you want to see okay i explain this point over here only this is the one flower from where 
male reproductive organ has been removed that means behind is left only the female reproductive organ right this is one criteria you want to see you want to see like uh, in reality uh, this uh, male reproductive part is removed or not what do you do you uh, it can be tested by uh, you cover it okay you cover this flower you have uh, uh, removed the male reproductive part from here and you cover uh, this uh, uh, emasculated flower and this covering is said to be bagging that is you place a bag around it so that uh, there is no mode of pollination until unless you yourself go for uh, uh, the proceeding of the uh, say this pollination methodology now if it is bag that means it is totally covered inside there is no male reproductive uh, organ that means there will be no uh, seed set within this flower right because outer you have covered it totally uh, and it is uh, it is uh, separated from the environmental factors so even if any insect comes and sits here and uh, it if that insect is a source of pollination even then pollination is no more going to take place because it is covered right so this is said to be bagging bagging is actually controlling any outer uh, pollination right so th there will be no setting of the seed there will be no seed will be set in this uh, uh, bagged system and uh, this ensures like there is no male reproductive organ inside because if, even after the bagging if there is formation of the seed any seed is being set up then in that particular case we can say uh, then we can say like somewhere uh, emasculation has been performed but it is not properly performed because somewhere there are left left inside the flower male reproductive or organs which are available for mating with the female one that is why seed uh, seed is being set right so efficiency of the emasculation methodology it can be tested by bagging and bagging the emasculated flower emasculated flower means the flower from where male reproductive organ has been removed but no pollination must be no pollination must be there then only you can check the efficiency of any uh, say emasculation methodology because if any amount of seed is being set it in turn is going to indicate frequency of chance self pollination during the emasculation because if there is left uh, behind any male reproductive organ that will uh, very easily become available for mating with the female and uh, it will result into the formation of seed so uh, to check the efficiency we can go for bagging uh, the emasculated flower and not allowing any external pollination to reach over this emasculated flower Uh, this is all about factors that actually affect the emasculation and how one can go for describing like uh, this method is efficient one now we come to the very first methodology that is hand emasculation as the name itself is indicating emasculation means what removal of the male reproductive part and hand means what hand is we are going for the emasculation but here we don't require this uh, uh, instrument a spatula is no more required so, uh, hand hand and uh, fingers of the hand are sufficient enough for uh, going for the emasculation but why we are going for the hand emasculation why don't we require this spatula and all the reason behind is the size of the flower is very large and uh, all the organs which are present inside are very clearly visible so in the species where large flowers are there there uh, uh, there we can go for the removal of the anthers and uh, we can use forcep uh, but but this forcep is is in the terms like forcep is to be holded with hand only but this procedure vary from species to species right here emasculation uh, see there is a particular timing for the emasculation to ca uh, for carrying out the emasculation it is not like uh, you keep on sleeping on the whole day and then uh, in the evening you say mera man kar raha hai emasculation karne ka theek hai so that is not to be done there is a proper timing for the emasculation to be carried out like emasculation is done before the anthers are mature right because uh, if anthers got mature uh, within the if anthers got mature then obviously if anthers are mature then obviously 
uh, they will be tested on the female parts and uh, there are chances of uh, uh, self pollination to avoid any accidental self pollination uh, anthers are to be removed before they actually becomes uh, uh, mature and secondly uh, secondly what happens if uh, suppose if it is mature then uh, the capability of the stigma to receive uh, capability of the uh, stigma to receive these uh, pollen grains it is very high during the morning hours it is very high during the morning hours because uh, in the morning itself flower opens itself right therefore uh, before a morning comes uh, in the evening itself uh, between the timing 4 to 6 pm uh, one day before uh, we could go for the removal of uh, these uh, anthers right so see this is the procedure how hand emasculation is to be carried out so here what is done this uh, particular flower although uh, because i was i was to introduce you all with the actually hand emasculation so uh, somewhere these flowers are differing uh, from each other uh, what i could good i could get uh, uh, to explain you i have pasted it here uh, see but while we will be proceeding for the emasculation we have to continue with one flower only right so this is the flower Uh, we have opened the flower we, here the flower is being opened and uh, once the uh, uh, these sepals petals are removed then we when once we are reaching the uh, like uh, reproductive organs then out of the two reproductive organs from here we have removed the male one and uh, see this male is being removed and left behind is only the female so here in hand emasculation what is being done a flower particular flower is to be selected its corolla is to be opened and the anthers are to be removed very carefully uh, in case the flower is uh, very small in uh, size then we can have fine tip forceps with us fine tip forceps why we require very fine because uh, uh, they should be sharp enough uh, like uh, uh, like the part that is to be opened or that is to be removed can be holded very perfectly in hand emasculation when we talk about uh, then uh, Uh, in the crop species like in crop species like cotton jute brinjal uh, bhindi and all here anther is apipetalous now you must be thinking what is meant by apipetalous apipetalous are actually the flowers where anther is attached to the petal of the flower anther is attached to the petal of the flower in such cases in such cases corolla is totally removed right and uh, these are the cereals in cereals what we do one third uh, here like these are the uh, legumes no one third of the empty legumes they are clipped off uh, totally they are cut off like these are the, uh, the these are actually what uh, legumes right so here one third can be cut so that uh, the pollen grains are easily visible right uh, just because anthers could be uh, removed when uh, they will be uh, here we need to cut in case of the cereal we need to cut at least one third of the part uh, so that anthers are exposed if something will be become visible to you then only you will be able to remove that particular part no so for uh, uh, very first is uh, selection of the flower and thereafter uh, you need to cut uh, you need to expose the anther so that it is visible enough to you so that you could easily remove it right but again care is to be taken that no harm is caused to uh, female reproductive part then in case of the wheat uh, wheat oat in above two only two large florets per uh, spikelet are left um, i mean to say when we are discussing this wheat and oats uh, i i just uh, as i just explained you behind Uh, like we need to go for the removal of spikelets but here only two are allowed to remain other all are removed and again care is to be taken so that no self pollination takes place female reproductive part should not be injured and uh, to the flower like see as you know like we only need to remove uh, male reproductive part and uh, as a uh, uh, while uh, going for the removal of male reproductive part i am putting stress again and again like we need not to go for the removal of female reproductive part uh, we need not to go for removal and even no damage 
uh, should be coerced to it. But it is not like you go for uh, uh, you go for damaging the other parts of the flower. No, da minimum damage to the flower must be done because the flower color, flower fragrance. These are only the reasons why they are attracting the other sources of or say agents of pollinators, right? Now this is the suction method. Suction method it is uh, basically uh, applicable where we have small flowers. When we have small flowers, then it is very tough and it is a very tiring process to go uh, to go for opening uh, of the flower, and that is to be done with very care. And sometimes it does not become possible. And even if the flower is open, sometimes it causes damage to the female reproductive organ also. So what to do in that case? We need to look after another alternative, obviously. So this method is useful in species with small flowers. So since since we cannot open the flower very uh, very carefully, so we are supplying certain uh, we are supplying with the help of the tube. We will be putting certain pressure over it so that the male are sucked outside. This is just done in the morning. Uh, so that uh, before the flower opens very immediately it is to be performed. Here petals are removed because pressure is to be supplied. So obviously here we need to go for the removal of petals also. And uh, anthers and stigma are to be exposed. Uh, this is a large tube, uh, but uh, while we are, uh, uh, while we are uh, handling uh, the small flowers, this size will also be automatically reduced. So this uh, hose, suction hose, uh, it is to be attached, uh, uh, it is to be attached, uh, it is to be kept near the flower and it will be when uh, like pressure will be there, it will suck the anthers. Anthers will directly go into it and uh, to suck any pollen grains uh, that is present on the surface, that means it will be providing the pressure and with the pressure anthers will be because anthers, uh, uh, they will be uh, immediately taken inside the tube and they are easily removed or separated from the flower. But uh, very uh, care is to be taken while going for the suction methodology. Pressure, uh, how much pressure a flower can tolerate, that much is only to be provided. It should not be like in spite of uh, uh, sucking the anthers, it is uh, sucking the whole flower, right? So, so suction, Maybe produce suction. Obviously, it is to be produced by a water tap by connecting it to a suction pump. But how much suction is to be uh, given? Its amount that is to be very important. Importantly or carefully, it is to be considered. Pressure must be up to the capability. That is, it is uh, sucking the stamens and pollen grains, but not the flower or the gynoecium. But while we go for the suction methodology, uh, there is one drawback, uh, like uh, it is not uh, like when you are giving the suction, then whole of the, uh, then whole of uh, this will be removed. Whole of the say, uh, what we say, uh, whole uh, male reproductive part will be removed. No, there are still left the chances of cell pollination to take place. And uh, those chances of cell pollinations which are taking place, they can be uh, reduced by washing the stigma with a jet of water. And uh, cell pollination here cannot be eliminated, right? As in the hand uh, emasculation, we were totally uh, we were totally removing, but here it cannot be removed. Next is the hot water treatment. Here pollen grains are sensitive uh, uh, than the female reproductive organs right to both the genetic and environmental factors and uh, in such cases uh, pollen grains are uh, pollen grains are killed by dipping the pollen flower within the water so when we are going for the hot water emasculation temperature is to be monitored and duration is to be kept in the mind and both these factors vary from crop to crop for example when we uh, say uh, we have to proceed uh, hot water emasculation for jawar then uh, 42 to 48 degrees celsius temperature is to be maintained and duration is 10 minutes in case of rice 40 to 44 degrees celsius temperature is to be given for 10 minutes so if any excessive or lesser amount of uh, 
temperature uh, or duration is given, then it is not going to conduct the maceration very perfectly or efficiently. Here, what is done? Hot water treatment. When we go for the hot water treatment, there is a particular timings to go for the hot water treatment. It is to be done before anthers dehiscence. Dehiscence means what? Before anthers uh, uh, releases the pollen grains, uh, uh, this hot water treatment is to be given uh, at that particular timing and prior to the opening of the flower. Uh, we normally have used to have thermal thermal flask and the whole inflorescence is to be immersed in the water. This is effective in killing the pollen grains uh, but, but again if you are providing the correct temperature and treatment, right? Next is the cohort treatment. Uh, this is uh, commonly not used for emasculation but uh, but uh, uh, Inflorescence in, in, in uh, this way, uh, alcohol uh, um, is given, but uh, uh, after the treatment with the, uh, uh, here it is flower, uh, flower immerse, it is not immer, it is immerse. Flower is actually immerse or the inflorescence, inflorescence you all know. So flower or the inflorescence is actually dipped in the alcohol for a particular uh, period and thereafter it is rinsed in the water. For example, in sweet clover, uh, when we immerse the inflorescence uh, uh, in 57% alcohol for 10 seconds, it was quite effective. And uh, percentage of selling was only 0.89. It is a met better method than suction because actually it is not uh, allowing the self-pollination to take place. But here, uh, duration is to be uh, considered very uh, carefully. And uh, if you are giving a uh, uh, say a few seconds are uh, recommended and you are giving uh, more than few seconds then it would reduce the seed set that will that means it is uh, also side by side it, it will be affecting the female reproductive organ also then is the cold treatment uh, in the cold treatment uh, like uh, pollen grains are killed but without damaging the nosium like in case of rice Treatment with cold water is given at 0 to 6 degrees Celsius and uh, this uh, treatment is uh, effective. It is efficient enough to kill the pollen grains without affecting the female. Uh, similarly, in case of wheat plants, treatment at 0 to 2 degrees Celsius for 15 to 24 hours, it is uh, efficient enough uh, in killing the pollen grains. But it is less effective if it is compared with the hot water treatment, it is less effective than the hot water treatment. And uh, here amount of cell pollination, since amount of cell pollination is greater in cold treatment. So this is only the reason it is less effective than hot water treatment. And now is the genetic emasculation. Genetic emasculation, how we can go for genetic emasculation? You all must have uh, read about the cytoplasmic sterility or the genetic male sterility, where flower is no more uh, uh, in the uh, no, not allowed to be uh, in the compatible uh, uh, direction, right? Here, what is done genetic or uh, within the genetic emasculation, genetic or cytoplasmic male sterility may be used to eliminate the necessity of emasculation. That means here we are going for cytoplasmic male sterility so that even if the male reproductive part is present, it is not uh, functional enough. And since it is not functional, it will not be able to uh, mate with the female reproductive part. And uh, as a result, there is not going to be any self-pollination or say self-fertilization within the flower. That means flowers are uh, converted to be incompatible, right? So this was all about your uh, uh, today practical. Uh, so here I didn't go for describing you a particular crop. Uh, here I just give you a, a brief introduction of various methods. Now in the next practical, we will have one one crop that will be available in this season. And uh, then I let you know like which uh, uh, within the which crop 
all all together you have come to know about uh, many methodologies but which methodology is to be adopted for which kind of crop that we will be discussing in detail in the next lecture right so this was all from my side uh, if there is any query we can discuss it right now thank you